Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the things that I actually have been putting off for quite some time, and that is how to make an S curve if your data is already in MS Project. So some of you may be using MS Project and you already have your Gantt chart in your project, but you may wonder like, where is the S curve? reporting tool for this one and unfortunately ms project doesn't support creating s curves so the idea is that you can generate the report from ms project and send it over to excel where you can then generate an s curve so the idea is that you have the data here and this is the data that you need okay in your gan chart this is the data that you need to convert into an S-curve. So how do you do that? So here's how. But before that, okay, one thing about creating an, an S-curve coming from S project is that if ever you have a task that is recurring like this one, the weekly meeting, they will affect how your S-curve will look like. So you may want to send the recurring data to their respective positions in the tasks. Or if there's something that you can ignore, then simply collapse them like this so you can easily remove them in the Excel report later. So you can, again, distribute this to their respective positions like when exactly should they be in the Gantt chart and not like this where you have them grouped together. So now we're ready. And we know some concepts in or to remember or things to remember when you have your data from MS Project. So you have to go to the report tab. And under the report tab, you should see their export. And there's actually only one button there as of uh, creating this video. And that is the visual reports button. So this button allows you to extract the project and convert it to a format, either something that can be used in Excel or in Microsoft Visio. So for the sake of making our report generation faster, we will uncheck the Microsoft Visio because we don't really need to make one. What we need is an Excel report. So in this tab, you should have different kinds of reports grouped together depending on what they are um, similar with another. So I'll just go to the All tab. And let's say that I want to make an S-curve using the work data that I have. Take note that you can also create an S-curve out of your costing. And that is totally up to you. So whichever one you want to create an S-curve of. So let's say that for this, I'm going to create an S-curve for the work that I have assigned to the people or to my um, project members. So I will click Baseline Work Report. And then I will have to click Edit Template. You will then get in the, into this new window we're in you will see different fields that you can export coming from your Gantt chart. There's actually a lot of them here. And honestly, you don't really need all of them. But for now, what we are going to do is we are going to add the baseline cumulative work. Remember that an S-curve is technically a report that has to do with accumulated data. So we'll choose baseline cumulative work. You can also choose cumulative actual work if you want to create an S-curve that compares the actual work. Okay, but my project right now doesn't have that kind of information yet. So I'll just stick with the baseline work that I added in my Gantt chart. So I will click Add now. And then once you've added that line or that field, 
you will then click edit template your ms project will start generating the report it will take some time and it will open up in ms excel as you could see and now i have excel and what ms project gave you is a chart a pivot chart actually and the corresponding classic pivot table so even if you're using the latest version of ms project you will still get the classic view okay and when it's going to be a pivot table coming from ms project so we now have here the task the name of the um, file first demo project one this is the name of the file name of the project and then you have the two project headers that i have so just to show you where they are in ms project they are my main tasks so my project's name is rizal building project and together with that in the s curve or in the pivot table is the weekly meeting which is also first level in the outline which i don't need so since i don't need the weekly meeting i could simply remove that in my filter like that so i need to drop down the task and remove the weekly meeting okay so now i only have the result building project in my uh, pivot table so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to bring in this field the weekly calendar field into your rows i'm going to put it before the tasks okay and then so right now just to show you my chart is looking like this it's currently just showing you a column chart so i need to expand the year until you see the weeks because if you want to create an uh, an s curve then you can create an s curve by week so i'm i click the plus sign before the 2022 and then i could click here as well and by the way if you have a lot of um quarters your project expands for a long time you can simply right click and expand the entire field so you do not have to expand each of these buttons one by one but if you don't if you do not have a lot then you could simply click the plus signs before the quarters and now you have the weekly data okay showing up in your report now let's see how it looks like in our chart so now we have this and we want to convert this into a line chart so right click on the pivot chart and then we have to change the chart type into a line chart because as we know s curves are technically a kind of a line chart so click ok so i can still see that i have this three data here the baseline work work and actual work those are not the fields that i want so i need to uncheck actual work i don't need that I don't need the baseline work and I also don't need the work. What I actually need is the one that I added. If you remember when we edited the template, what we need is the baseline cumulative work. This is the data that we want to show up in our S curve. And let's see what our line chart looks like now, now that we've seeing the baseline cumulative work and there you go so well it's not really the perfect s as you may expect from an s curve but if you've been creating s curves for quite some time you know that the s of the s curve doesn't really have to be a perfect s it simply means that the work has been assigned very early in the project and it started to plateau somewhere later in the project because that's what an s curve tries to represent right how the resource has been distributed is it distributed in the middle of the project 
was the work done a lot at the early part and so on and that's how to create an s curve coming from ms project so you cannot really create an s curve from ms project itself but you can get its data and have excel do the report for you and that's it if you have any questions feel free to Use the comment section to ask, and I'll do my best to answer you as soon as I can. But for now, that's it for this video. I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.